Hi everyone, my name is Cindy uh, and the channel is Life My Way. Uh, I'm going to be doing this channel with my little Yorkie Archie who is sitting over there and refuses to come on camera right now, so we'll see him later. Uh, I really hope that you'll join my journey of me taking day trips in my car and eventual car camping. I say eventual because I live in Atlantic Canada and even though it's beautiful for October, winter looms right around the corner. They can be rough here. Anyway, um, if you like my channel and you like the content I'm providing, I would love it if you would like this video and subscribe to the channel. And let's get on to the video. Thanks. Okay, hi again everybody. Uh, I am not a videographer. This is the first time I'm doing a longer video for YouTube. There are a couple of shorts on my channel, but that's it. So I'm gonna get, just give you a quick car tour. It's set up as a car camper for the most part, even though I can't really do overnights right now. Still training my dog for being in the car. So here we go, start in the front. So it's pretty simple. I keep a microfiber cloth right here, just to dust the dash. Sunglasses case down there for my sunglasses. Because I live in Atlantic Canada, we get a lot of snow, so you absolutely need a snow scraper and wiper for your windshield and your car, that's it. Okay, here we are. Just gonna show you this. Oh, I gotta put this down here. This is one of those tray things that attaches to your steering wheel. Um, you can eat your lunch on it or do work or whatever sitting in your front seat. I actually did use it once already and it worked out just great. When I'm driving, it works so great because it works as an armrest because I don't have one on my on my seat back. Perfect. Okay. Over here, this is Archie's seat. He does not like being in the car. So I'm trying to make him as cozy as possible. So this pillow, I leave up here for him when the car is moving, when we're on a day trip and stopped for the day. And when we eventually go car camping, this is what I do. Trying to push it down into here. Then that way he can roam from the back to the front of the car. I'm just going to stop and go around the other side. Okay, so this is the passenger side. So down here I just have some little things, a lint roller, one of my CDs. Um, some Febreze CD. Now this is just a regular TV um, table tray, but I will be using that like if I want to set up to cook something or to boil water or anything if I'm on a day trip and it fits just perfectly beside here and acts. Archie can put his paws up there so we can look out the window. So down here this is just a cooler bag. I don't need a hard-sided cooler yet, but this will work great for bringing anything I need to keep cool, drinks or sandwiches or whatnot. It's a little bit of a mess under there right now, but I have a shovel there for in the wintertime in case I have to dig snow out of the car. And I have a vent thing down there. I'll do another video on that, but it's for getting air conditioning or heat into the back. Now, if I do a bigger trip, I will probably also have... Maybe, I don't know, it was if like a little bag of shoes down there, or we'll see. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to have. And of course, my glove box is just my glove box. I do have a power inverter in here. It's a 1300 watt inverter. I also have some reusable um, cutlery, napkins, and reusable straws in here. The rest is just, you know, regular dash stuff, glove box stuff. Let's go to the, oh, I wanted to show this. I have a, one of those netting things, and it's just hooked on to the back and the front of the car. Um, I don't know how well you can see that. I hope you can see it. I just have my front windshield sunshade in there. 
now to the back okay this is where the rest of it goes okay so on the back of the seat here i just have a little storage thing uh it was a storage shoe hanger that i cut uh into a couple of pieces and i'm using it in two places in here just to put some easy storage easy access this is reusable bags uh these are window covers which i will show another time they're bug netting window covers um, and I know this might look weird, but this is my toilet paper. I use it as Kleenex as I'm driving and also for emergencies if we're on a day trip and I have to use the loo. Okay, so right down here, Archie's little water dish. And this is like an egg crate. I don't know how well or if you can see that. I just put some, put some cardboard covered on top of it there. So down in here, I have some storage that will probably hold... Um, some of Archie's food and treats and maybe some of mine we'll see okay so then this is another seat for Archie to be in his seat for laying down having a nap whenever we're out so in this back storage I have a Sudoku book I have a pair of scissors in behind Archie's pee pads and I will show you that rest of that in a minute um, I use this as my cup holder when I'm sitting on my bed Okay, and then I have some matches and some garbage bags and a little lantern. It's just battery operated. Um, I eventually would like to get solar or USB, but no need to purchase things when I already have something that works. Okay, let's go over the other side. Okay, so we're over the other side. Um, this is a very makeshift bed. Um, I just put down things to make it. I took off my 60, the six, the seat back splits 60, 40. I took off the 60 to make my bed on this side. So, but the seat bottom remained. So I kind of just put stuff to make it level up to the seat top and then under my pillows and the, and the mattress topper. There are some stuff here. Now I have, I'm using, currently I'm using one of them as my garage. And I think I'm going to use the other one likely. It's either going to be clothing or dry food storage. I will decide which one works better functionally for me. But that's, that'll happen eventually. Okay. Okay, let's go to the trunk. Now I'm going to preface going to the trunk. Pardon the traffic noise. Uh, I live in an area where the traffic just comes by pretty fast, so it's noisy. But anyway, um, my dog is pad trained. And so I have to have an area for him to use the bathroom in the car. That may sound disgusting to some people, but I change his pad as soon as it happens. He's still in training because he's not used to doing it in the car. So he's still in training for that. Here's my camp chair up there. This will be a great surface for like cooking or just whatever. Whatever I want to do. Anything I want to put up there if I'm ever set up. And there's Archie's pad area. It's not for everybody, but it's what works for he and I. He's just a little fella. And just the way it is. Yes, he is spoiled. Okay, sera, sera. And that's pretty much about it for right now. Thank you very much for coming along. Just realized I forgot to show something in here. Um, this is what this is a plastic cereal container that I use as my garbage. I have a garbage bag in it. It's airtight. So if Archie does do his business on a pad, I just roll up the pad and put it in there and it's airtight. And I also have some containers here that I can use for different things right now. I've got toilet paper in there and whatnot. And this <laughs> is an emergency pee jar. This is the reality of life sometimes when you're out camping or whatnot or on a trip. Sometimes you just gotta go and you gotta go. Thanks for watching. 
Hi, just wanted to uh, come on and close the video a little bit and also let you know that my car is a uh, 2016 Hyundai Accent, which I don't think I mentioned. Uh, pretty small car, but I'm making it work and hopefully going to be able to get a used Dodge Grand Caravan uh, just for more comfort by late spring. Fingers crossed. Anyway, just wanted to say thanks for joining and hope to see you here next time. Bye-bye.